This is the elevator at the bathhouse in Lawrence Road, Blizzard, Pennsylvania. This is a personal home elevator. I believe it's a Simco installed by Marshall and it has Adam's uh, residential fixtures, which I think are survivor based. Swing door on the outside, which I think slams her in. But so essentially, the inside gate is automatic. Um, and, and now we'll go up to four. <laughs> This might be a very long video. This is a slow elevator. That's a weird noise. It's terrible. We can see the uh, door out there, the window. It's landing too. It's a weird arch right there. Really fast and it'll bounce slow. This is a, if you, even if you shake it a little, it bounces like crazy. This elevator does not seem very stable to me. And if I'm to Dover phone, what level there? It's a basic laminate cab with two pot lights. There's one right there and there's one right there. It's a weird tile floor. There's your certificate. I don't know what year this is installed because there's a CTS business tag right there. This was probably installed in the 90s sometime. It has a 900 pound capacity, which it's bigger than a 900 pound, but it's just a wheelchair. I mean, I guess it makes sense though, because just shaking it doesn't seem very stable. It's a personal elevator. Not a little lock, because there's a little lock, it would have 1,400 pounds. I'm assuming this is a rope hydro, but I'm not sure. One? No, I think we're just past two. I don't have time this elevator takes. I put a round stop or it shouldn't get square. Just even moving slightly in the cab just bounces the whole car. This elevator feels cheap and not very stable. Finally, back up one. Yeah. Here we are, back up one. This is just a standard multi tenant office building. It closes, and now it's going to be 